If you are feeling a little bit stressed, don't worry. Just channel your inner chi bollocks, punch the air a few times. It may not do anything, but you'll look cool doing it. And that's the main thing. But if you don't want to look like a knob, just sit back and enjoy these lot. Firstly, this guy definitely looks like he's the evil cousin of Mr. Miyagi. The Mr. Fingers, the Mr. Wiggles all bind into one to give us this fine specimen of weirdness. I'm like, that. what's he going to do? Just look at the hip movement in that old dude. Fucking epic. To be honest, I wish I was going to be that nimble at his age, even though he's doing some weird stuff right now. Look at him, he's very active. We have to support his active lifestyle. Maybe that's the key to forever life. Just come up with the weirdness crap and then that's it. The weirder the better. The poles around the neck! The one inch punch. Oh, they're just amazing these guys. I love them. I'm so glad they post. <laughs> what the fuck is she doing? She's doing the fanny fart. That's the only way that's working. Oh, you, you can, yeah, they're smelling it. Oh, I think she's getting a blowback. <laughs> oh. oh, the amazing power of bollocks. You can knock a room full of people over. We see a lot of weird knife defenses, but now this has to be the weirdest. So you've got a knife and this is what you're gonna do. So you're going to get attacked, so you go, Mr. Attacker, can you please put out your arm and I'm going to rest a knife blade on your arm or your wrist and you're going to fall down. Just throw it. Why aren't you throwing it at him? Okay, so you holding the blade, it goes on his arm. <gasps> Maybe it's made from the same material as Thor's hammer. Maybe he's just not worthy. Maybe he just needs to be more worthy. You know, upgrade from a purple t-shirt to the black t-shirt and... But it's such a devastating manoeuvre. Look at him, we can actually control the angle with him just by rotating the blade. Why is he not grabbing the blade and stabbing you back? <laughs> oh, he's on the other side now. Might be a bit more tricky, but I reckon we're going to get the same bollocks. What's he going to do? Go on, buddy. Fucking hell, this is so brutal. <laughs> and this is the world of Sistema again. But he's, he's wearing a Jack Daniels t-shirt, so I reckon he's had a little bit, you know. It's like, we get it, buddy. You can put the knife in his wrist and he's going to fall down. It's not impressive. It's like your t-shirt says number seven. You're like, you're seven years old. You think that's going to work. See, this is more cool. Russians exercising with a bear on a tree. What else do you need in your life? I want that bear. The weirdness of Aikido. So this guy, is, this is what sometimes I don't get with Aikido, these techniques. The guy's holding his wrist and now he's going to write the word, what is he? he's going to ask for his assistance. What word would you like? Aikido. So he's going to spell Aikido now and the guy's gone into a numpty and he's just, he's being a numpty. Just let go of his freaking wrist. I know this thing is a demo, so he's not going to let go, but how is, if builders and painters and decorators need to learn this shit, the world would be a safer place because every builder would be deadly with the art of bollocks. <laughs> oh, bless them. If you ever find yourself in a weird situation where you're being attacked by six people at once, don't you worry. This guy's got us seriously covered. He's actually made a step-by-step self-defense guide. So just make sure you follow every one of his steps. You can't miss any of them. So don't worry, he does count them down. But also, we have to make a note that the attackers need to follow the same guidelines as well. So if you're ever going to get attacked by this scenario of people, just make sure they've watched it first because you can pull off this shit. So are you ready for your step-by-step -step instructions? So step number one, just move to the side. Don't worry, all of them will miss you because remember, the attackers need to watch this shit as well. Step two, he's now out of the way. But he's not going to stop there with step three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
I think they added step nine because he didn't know what he was doing. He sort of walked a bit slow. But three on one, again, follow the steps. They all punch, you move out the way. Step two, easy peasy. Step three, we've got you covered, buddy. Step four, again, you're fine. You're in the pub now. Up against the wall, easy steps. Just remember, the attackers need to see this video as well. It's the only way it's going to work. It's the only way you're going to save your life. For me, Mr. Finger just comes up with the best pudding techniques ever. He wanted a way to get his hands on this girl, and he found a way. By transferring his inner bollocks through her to knocking opponents down. He wanted a touch. Don't blame him for trying. But look at the power of Mr. Finger. Just person comes in, woman arm goes over, they roll over. They're amazed. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. Look at that. That was a look of love, wasn't it? They, for that brief moment, you could see there was a bit of chemistry going on there. You know, he has channeled his inner bollocks from her. It might be, an org it might be like an orgasm for her. <laughs> but look at them. Bless them. Shake it off, baby. Shake it off. I know it's not Christmas time yet, but when we come to that time of the season and you get the poles, you so got to try this. Just stand there. Believe in it, and the force field will be around you. There's actually more people in the background doing exactly the same technique, which is quite worrying as well. <laughs> oh. I actually never would in a million years say this. Please never do this. Don't listen to this guy. Never even attempt to do what he's about to do in this video. It's stupid and idiotic, but you'll see for yourself. Away. So he's showing Once us about while, gun concealment. Gun. Behind the book. Again. So the whole class is going to practice the gun behind the book. Watch how some of them react. It's brilliant. So they're all pretending, you know, they're reading Harry Potter. They're happy. But then suddenly the situation calls, the gun's there. It's the guy, it's the girls. They're just funny as well in the background because they're sort of mirroring his images and what he's doing. So, yeah, look at him. It's like, look at his movement. We'll copy the same shit. This is Secret Service stuff. I'm never trusting anyone with a book again in the library. So you need to hide a gun or a knife inside your book. Hide it inside your book. Why it's important to read? This way, nobody will see you have a gun. If you just look towards the, you know, the, a book like that, people see something wrong. See, my question is, what happens if you get carried away in the book? You know, you might pick it up by mistake and you'd be like, oh, actually, that's quite a good read. And then you, oh, I'll just read the next page. Gun gets covered, shit goes down, you're fucked. You need to read. You need to read. And they're still reading. And then every now and then, take that. The knife's in the other hand, buddy. It's in the other fucking hand. <laughs> oh, yeah, you've got him on that arm, but yeah, it's in the other hand. Ah, oh, but that's some power. It's the ancient freeze jitsu where they just freeze you. But now they've actually not just stopped them, they're frozen. They are fucking stiff. Well, it's not the first time I've ever seen a, guy, a girl make a guy stiff. It's not impressive. <laughs> I see it quite a lot. Have you seen Twitter lately? It's like OnlyFans stuff all over it. I reckon loads of guys are like stiff like that at the moment. <laughs> but it's the way they're trying to sell it. It's like, try to wake him up. You know, look at him. He's like, oh no, he's, he's gone heavy now as well. Oh no, he's completely stiff. You gave him too much Viagra. They're fucked. <laughs> but if this shit was actually real, how effective would it be if it was in real life? The Just Oil protesters, I'd just be like, zap, zap, pick them up, throw them off the bridge, <laughs> zap. Oh, especially if you can move them around. That would be... 
You would have a field day. You'd be zapping your friends all the time and putting them in weird positions. I'd be putting the trousers down in the high street. Yeah, especially if they've got like a two day old boxes, which you know they're going to be crusty. And you just leave them there. <laughs> Death by killer sneakers. Thanks for watching, and remember, if you want to see more mad, weird, bollocks, martial arts, you know what you need to do. Just hit that subscribe button. As I said, it's not going to hurt you, is it? Just, just one little tap, you know, just hit it once, and everything will be good. You know, just tap, taps, you know, tap. <laughs> Cheers for watching.